So we're still looking at or compound inequalities. The difference is that the just like with equations and with the and inequalities, uh, the the process is the same, but the inequalities themselves become a little bit more complicated to, to simplify. The process, again, though, is exactly the same. So we'll start on the left-hand side. We'll add, we have 3x, 3 fifths x minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 1, or 1 third times x plus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 2. We'll start on the left-hand side, and we'll add 7 to both sides. That gives us 3 fifths x is less than or equal to 6, Multiply both sides by 5 thirds. These cancel on the left hand side. X is less than or equal to 6 times 5 thirds is 10. We have or this whole way. So I instead of distributing the 1 third, since it's on the outside of the parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 3. The, the 3 and 1 third cancel on the left hand side, leaving 1. So we have X plus 6 is greater than or equal to, and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. We don't change the direction of the inequality symbol because we only multiplied by the negative that was already on the right-hand side. We didn't multiply both sides by a negative value. So we'll subtract 6 from both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So the two parts of our simplified compound inequality are x is less than or equal to 10, or x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So we want to make sure we have those endpoints on both of our graphs. So we'll start with negative 12, since that's our lowest value. Negative 12, negative 10, negative 8, negative 6. And I need a little more room, so I'll go ahead and extend this to make it even. We wouldn't need that because it's less than or equal to 10, but since we started at negative 12, might as well end at 12. And because that took a little bit of time, I'll go ahead and draw up our second one. All right, now we'll graph the left-hand side of our compound inequality. X is less than or equal to 10. I'll go ahead and use a square bracket this time. We can use a square bracket or a closed circle, a dot. And it's less than or equal to, so we're going to the left. On the right hand side we have x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So again I'll put a bracket here. Greater than or equal to we go to the right. Now if this were an AND compound inequality we'd just be looking at the values between and including negative 12 and 10. But this is an OR compound inequality so it's what satisfies either one. So if we combine these graphs what satisfies either the first one or the second one. Well, we have one starting at 10 and going to the left, one starting at negative 12 and going to the right. So if we combine them, we end up with a number line that goes infinitely in both directions. And any value we plug into here will satisfy one or the other inequality. And therefore, the solution is all real numbers and in interval notation, that would be negative infinity to infinity. So graphing it, it's just the entire number line in both directions. And in interval notation, it would be noted as negative infinity to infinity.